Let's forget where we are. Let's control, alt, and delete. So how many of you over here have seen a deck of cards? Clap your hands if you have. OK. How many of you here have played any card games? Please clap your hands if you have. Now, how many of you know that the Ace of Spades is the highest card that you can get? You got the gist. I think uh, that's my first success. I have uh, successfully gotten applause for this session. My job here is done. Now, if I had to ask you all if you wanted to be the Ace of Spades, I think you've answered that you'd want to be. In order to get from a deck of cards to being an Ace of Spades, all we have to do is Control, Alt, and Delete. You see, this is a function that we take not once, not twice, several times in our day, each day. Luckily, each and every one of us, all of us over here, is born as a deck of cards, fresh, completely new with opportunities. The only difference, I would say, in these deck of cards is how you shuffle them. That's all that changes, how you shuffle this deck of cards and how we're then presented it. You see, with that, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Let me introduce myself to you. Beyond just the name, this is the first time I was sighted. That's my first picture. Now, I wouldn't call it a selfie, of course, but at the same time, I didn't get permission for this to be taken. But much like my ultrasound right here, each and every one of us has our first picture, and it looks exactly like this, like a deck of cards, fresh. But let's skip to the future. If I had to take it one day at a time, this might be a bit too long. So I found myself over here, doing exactly what I love to do. And that's where I put the control function on. That's where I pressed control the first time. I started playing football all the time, every single day. And I found myself good at football, and therefore playing for a club in England. It showcased in my marks, or lack of marks at the time. But what I really realized was I was focusing on my impulse, my impulse to do something I loved, which got me right here. Now, this is where I realized what my passions were. But what was supposed to lead me towards a goal, a goal towards a score sheet, actually led me to writing on a BlackBerry, a phone that was used, utilized to convey messages to friends and loved ones. The oldest BlackBerry that I had turned out to be where I typed in my first book. You see, for me, that's where I put the alternative part of my life. I pressed Alt and started to explore different passions, much more than I thought I wanted to do and much more where I wanted to spend my time in, where I was willing to fail at. And this is where I realized we're all confused. We have no idea what we're doing. And that's the best part of it, going one word at a time I typed up the words, this is just a short story, to realize it turned out to be a book typed up in a BlackBerry. But at the same time, what my friend over here is telling us is you've got to be confused in the process. Don't believe you've reached the ultimate goal because there is no ultimate goal, and that's the best part about this journey. Like this deck of cards, you actually have to slice and dice it a little bit. So you have to start removing parts that you don't want. And that's where you reach a very, very important part, and that is the delete function. Intimidating, isn't it? Almost seems like a villain trying to take us away from our goals. Delete. It's daunting. But you have to start trimming in order to reach your goals. I'm going to repeat that. To grow, you have to trim. Makes no sense. But you have to let go of things you're not willing to fail at. You have to let go of things you're not willing to spend time improving towards. And like this deck of cards, I started cutting a little more. Each time, I started letting go and got left with two or three different parts of my life. You see, we've got to be a jack of all trades. You have to be one of them. You have to have so many tricks up your sleeve in order to figure out 
where you stand, where you want to stand, where you want to sit. There has to be, as Homer Simpson said, confusion. Now, to factor all this in, I started testing out myself a little bit. Because there's only so much a passion can tell you until you actually go out there, until you get out of the red line, uh, until you cross. So I started testing out by meeting people and spending time in writing books, no, writing a blog. Starting a business, definitely not, getting mentored. Aside meeting people that had done the control alt delete function in their life multiple times, multiple times successfully as well. And what I realized in the process was in order to reach your several goals, in order to learn how to catch one ball, throw one ball, catch the other ball, and then eventually juggle. Wait, were you guys going to think I was going to juggle? No. That's one thing I realized I'm bad at. Apart from the multiple other things I realize I'm bad at. So I started to realize what I need to focus on. How do I put something, let it go? How do I let another thing go and catch it? You've got to realize what you're willing to spend your time on. So I set my goals very methodically, or at least that's what I thought. The hardest goal, the one that will take the furthest amount of time, came first. I spent my time building that first. By the time I was in your place in school, I didn't realize I typed up my first book. And by the time I was ending university, I realized someone told me, hey, this might be the second. So I set, set myself aside and put another hat on, one of the other jacks, to realize, let me start building ventures. It wasn't that easy. It was almost like dropping a ball each time when you thought this is the one you want to catch. That's where the whole process of meeting someone else came in, the mentors came in. Now let me tell you the fun bit. When you start categorically putting what you want in place, do you realize the people around you are actually your stakeholders? Each and every one, while you're pressing control, someone else has pressed alt. When they've pressed alt, someone else has pressed delete. It's a vicious chain cycle that works. And that got me to the last part. In order to reach here, you have to categorically put everything in place, jump into that mess, get your hands dirty, realize you don't realize anything, realize you don't know what you're doing, and only then will you be able to figure out what you're willing to fail at. And only after all this will you realize the real trick has been up your sleeve the entire time. The ace of spades, it's there with you. And you can keep building more. How many of you think there's another card up my sleeve? Clap your hands if you genuinely think there's another ace of spades. Those that did, there's only one ace of spades in a deck. And you have to concentrate on that first. And then slice and dice the cake till you become the entire cake yourself. And lastly, I'm going to tell you the first step of this. What is a deck of cards made for? To have fun. That's what decks are made for. To just have fun during the process. Lose a few hands. Play a few more. The house will always win. That's, that's the first step that we're taught. But like a deck of cards, like that first picture, be fresh and have fun. Thank you very much for having me.